The one to the right and one to the left. The middle you keep. Okay, this is discarded. And... Oh! Hello there, I'm Carlos, and this is Kingdoms, where all your nerdy dreams come true. In today's episode of Kingdoms and Friends, we have Morton and Sharice, who are two of our awesome patrons. In addition to helping us make all of our shows here at Kingdoms, our patrons get access to our private Discord, where we have additional giveaways, deck tech help, and deck lists, and a monthly EDH day where all our Kingdoms players play with our patrons. In addition, if you're one of our higher tier patrons, you get to be on Kingdoms and Friends like this episode. Check it all out at patreon.com slash kingdoms TV. With that, let's look at our commanders and starting hands. For game one, I am playing Neheb the Eternal. This deck is Dragon's Approach Tribal and Dragon Tribal. If you cast a Dragon's Approach with Neheb on the battlefield, you get 9 mana second main phase. You can use that to just hard cast dragons, or with enough approaches, search and put the dragons directly into play. My starting hand includes 3 Mountains, Bonder's Enclave, Star Compass, Dragon's Approach, and Terror of the Peaks. Jason R is playing Kyler Sigardian Emissary. This is a human tribal deck looking to get out Kyler quick and then play as many other humans to boost him and be a one-sided coat of arms. If you haven't played against Kyler, it can get scary fast. Jason's starting hand includes two planes, Path of Ancestry, Soul Ring, Finale of Devastation, Rally for the Throne, and The Great Henge. Morton, one of our patrons, is playing Joda Archmage Eternal. This is also a dragon tribal deck, but instead of mono red, he's playing all the best dragons and using Joda's ability to play them for only 5 mana. Morton's starting hand includes a Breeding Pool, Ketria Triome, Misty Rainforest, Vault of Champions, Amulet of Vigor, Kidrid Summits, and Piru the Volatile. Sharice, another one of our patrons, is playing Wolfgar of Icewind Dale. Wolfgar is a cool new unique commander that instead of doubling enter the battlefield effects, doubles attack triggers. This deck looks to take advantage of this early and late game, all while getting a lot of value and killing her opponents. Sharice's starting hand includes Highland Forest, Spine Rock Null, Lightning Greaves, Death Gorge Scavenger, Aggravated Assault, Inferno Titan, and Rampaging Brontodon. Alright, let's play some EDH. Draw for turn, play a mountain, and pass the turn. All right, draw for turn, play a path of ancestry tapped, pass the turn. I will draw for turn, and I will play a vault of champions, and I will tap that for a amulet of vigor, and then say turn. I will play a spine rock knoll, I'll go hide away something, and I'll pass. I will draw for turn, play another mountain. I think I'll just play Star Compass. Comes in tapped. It can make mana based on the basic mana I can produce. And I will pass the turn. Untap, draw. Let's play a Planes. Tap the Planes for a Soul Ring. And then we will add white and two colorless for Orzov Advocus. At the beginning of my upkeep, each player can put two plus one plus one counters on a creature they control. If that player does, creatures that player controls can't attack me or a planeswalker I control until my next turn. Because I cast a human card, I will scry one, keep that on top, and pass the turn. On top. I will play a uh, Getry Triumph, and it's gonna come in tapped, but because I'm the bigger trigger, it's gonna untap. That's gonna be past the turn after that. Untap, I will draw. I will play a forest. I will tap a forest for a soul ring, and tap a soul ring for some lightning greaves. Oh, that's and, scary. <laughs> and then I will uh, pass the turn. I will untap, draw for turn. Let's play. A Bonder's Enclave, or it makes colorless, but I can tap it and three other to draw a card if I have a creature that has power four or greater. And I'll play Wild Guess. In addition to casting Wild Guess, I'll discard a card. It'll be a Dragon's Approach, and I'll draw two cards. I'll pass. Untap. So Orzov Advocates will put two counters on itself. I cannot attack me until my next turn. Draw for turn. Wait, that's really evil with your commander. Just that's really good. What? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just go for it. Yeah. I cast a human, so I'm going to scry one. I should probably attack somebody. Let's thank Carlos for this night. Carlos will <laughs> get you for three. Thank you. Yeah. 
Of course. <laughs> and pass the turn. Uh, and then draw. <laughs> I will play a Misty Rainforest. I will tap it, crack it, get a Triumph. And it's going to come in untapped. And I'm just going to give turn after that. If that's okay by you, I'm just going to find it. Tap and draw. Play Forest. Tap out to cast the Commander. All um, right. I will move to equip the Greaves. I will move to combat. Dota really scares me. I'm going to send a wolf <laughs> car. The one who doesn't ran. How much is it? So he's originally a 4-4, four, four, but then yeah. he has melee. So he's going to yeah. get a plus one, plus one. And yeah. then it's going to trigger twice so he's going to be a 6-6. Six, six. Oh, that's just painful. <laughs> and then I will pass the turn. Okay, end of turn. I'm going to cast Thrill of Possibility. I'll discard a mountain and I'll draw two cards. Then I'll untap. I'll draw for turn. I'll play War Room as a land Oops. for turn. Play this Terror of the Peaks. It's a 5-4 Flying uh, dragon. dragon. Takes <laughs> three life to target it. And whenever another creature comes into play, this creature deals damage equal to its power to any target. And that'll be it. Untap. So at the beginning of my upkeep, we can put two counters on a creature you control if you control the creature. And then I oh, can't attack you if I do. Correct. You cannot right. attack me until my next turn if you do. Deal. Is it target or is it just put one? It is not targeted. It is any creature that you control. I think I'm going to pass. Okay. Then Thank draw. We're going to cast Frontline Medic. So it has Battalion. When this attacks with two other creatures or more, creatures I control get indestructible. Sacrifice this counter target spell with X and its mana cost unless its controller pays three. When a human enters the battlefield, he'll get plus one, plus one. That Wolfgar is very scary too. So let's go in for five commander damage. That's the turn. I will play Breeding Pool tapped and then I'm not because can untap it. I am going to play green and then take this one here for colorless and play Farseek. But that's going to be it for my turn when that comes in. All right. It's going to be Rockery and Triumph. It's going to come in tapped and untap itself. All right. I'll play a Highland Forest. Three for a Death Gorge Scavenger. So when he enters the battlefield or attacks, I may exile a target card from a graveyard. If it's a creature card, I gain two life. If it's a non-creature card, this gets a plus one, plus one till end of turn. So I will hit um, the Dragon's Approach, Carlos, in your deck. All of them or one, I'm sorry? Just one. Yeah, when he enters and then when he attacks. Okay. Then let's move to attacks. I just, I've played against Joda before and it goes off. So yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm going to come at you with the uh, Wolf Gargan. He's going to be a 6-6. Six, six. So 12 commander damage. Yep. That will be my turn. Untap. Upkeep draw. Let's play a mountain as land for turn. We'll pay two for Thought Vessel. I'll play five and attempt to play Neheb. If that is good, it will trigger Tear the Peaks as Neheb doesn't yeah. have to be a dragon. And it'll do four damage because Neheb has four power. I think I should kill that graveyard eater because it uh, could uh, over time kill my, my whole approach path. I do think I'll swing seven at you, Charisse. And if that goes through, I'll move to my second main phase and I'll get seven mana from Neheb. I will play back draft Hellkite. So it's a five mana, four, four flying dragon. Sort of a, an underrated one, I think, but it says when it attacks, each instant and sorcery card in my graveyard gains flashback until end of turn. The flashback cost is equal to its mana cost. Um, it does trigger Terror of the Peaks. I guess just uh, your face then, Jason. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and I have two more mana. I guess I'll use it on Everflowing Chalice. Just one on Everflowing Chalice, and I'll pass the turn. So on my upkeep, would you like to take a bribe? I don't think I can afford to, so I will not. Sharice, you're not going to, right? No. Okay, draw for turn. Kyler's. We're going to cast Reclusive Taxidermist. So it's a human. It gets plus three, plus two, as long as there are four or more cards in my graveyard, which I have zero. And then tap to add one mono of any color. Kyler's going to get another plus one, plus one counter. So all of these are coming at Carlos. 26. And they have Indestructible? Yeah. They now have Indestructible, yes. What's the biggest one? This one is a nine and then eight and then nine. nine as well. I think I block with Neheb nine of the damage and take okay. the 17. Okay, and then I pass the turn. Uh, snow covered swamp. Blue, red, white, and colorless. Joda. And they say turn after that. 
Let's play an Inferno Titan. Let's just do three to your face, Jason. Okay. Pass the turn. I'll untap. Draw for turn. Not quite what I wanted. A land for turn. First, uh, Chaos Warp your commander there, Jason. So it'll shuffle into um, your deck, or you can put it in your command zone. And I'll you, put it in the zone. Yeah, and you get to re- uh, shuffle your deck and then reveal the top card. If it's a permanent, you can put it into play. Otherwise, it stays on top. All right. Oh, that is so the worst thing to play. Oh, it's Contortionist the X troop. creature, yes. Enters uh, the battlefield with zero counters on it. Oh, wow. It I will just attack with my backdraft Hellkite. That will give all of my instants and sorceries flashback till end of turn. And I'll send the 4-4 at you, Jason, in the air. And then second main phase. I'm going to cast this last card in hand of mine, which is Goblin Lore. So I'll draw four cards and then discard three of them at Rehendum. They really, it really doesn't matter. Two of them are lands, two of them are dragon's approaches. So uh, if you're cool with it, I'll just do the top three discarded. Yeah, 100%. Okay, yeah. they are two lands and a dragon's approach. So I will then cast Wild Guess. I'll discard this dragon's approach as well and then draw two cards. I will cast uh, Thrill of Possibility with flashback and discard this dragon's approach and draw two cards. Oh. But I'll pass the turn after that. So untap. Anyone can put counters on their creature if they want. Two plus one plus one counters. I should probably put actually on Jora. I think it would be smartest of me because he's really, really, really small and he's not really a hitting guy kind of guy. And then draw for turn. <laughs> We're going to play Grasslands tapped. We're going to cast the Great Henge, reduced by five. Green, green, and two other. And then... We're gonna add green, green. I'm gonna gain two life and cast Heliod, God of the Sun. Indestructible. He has devotion. When I have devotion of five, then he's a creature. Other creatures I control have vigilance. And then I can pay two and two white to create a two, one white cleric enchantment creature token. And pass the turn. Untapped. Well, Stomping Ground. I don't wanna pay two life, but Amla is gonna see it, so it's gonna untap it. It's gonna be Piro, the, vol- the volatile. Holy crap. Oh. And then I'm gonna pass the turn after that. Draw. Castle oh, nice. Embrith. We're yeah. gonna play a Rampaging Brontodon. So let's go ahead and move the Greaves over to the Brontodon. And some hasty. Here are the peaks. Is it? Remind me again. So seven, six. We will move to attacks. Brontodon is gonna come at Jason. Wolfgar. Uh, I, won't, I won't swing at you if you don't kill my dragons, you know? Well, I mean, you don't have to choose to block. <laughs> oh, how, okay, I'm, how big I'm at is the lowest life. What if I just send the Infernal Titan at you and you don't block it instead of the big Wolfgar? As long as you don't shoot me with its triggers, too. No, I have another target for the triggers. Sure, no, that's fine. We'll swing Wolfgar at Jason. Then the Infernal Titan will go at Carlos. On attack trigger, Wolfgar, since I'm attacking two opponents, it's going to be an 8-8. Rampaging Brontodon, it's going to get plus one, plus one, until in a turn for each land I control, which is currently five. So it's going to be a 17-17 with Trample. And then the Inferno Titan, double trigger, so I'm going to deal five of it to Joda. And then one more, let's just do more in space. I will double block Wolfgar, and I will take 17. So does that kill Wolfgar? Yes. So this yeah. is a 5-8 okay. and a 3-3. Three, three. So that's 8 damage. And then you can only kill one of them. I'll kill the one that keeps putting counters on things. That's my turn. I'll untap. Draw for turn. All right. A play. A land for turn. It's Handler Battlements. You can make colorless. It can also make a uh, creature of haste. I'll cast Neheb. I will cast Dragon's Approach. And that's three damage. Three, three right? damage, right? Three, yeah, three damage exactly. each person. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I also have a Neheb trigger of Terror of the Peaks. So that does four damage to Jason. Yeah, Did let's shoot your mana right? guy. Dragons want to attack, you know? I'm, I'm going to send these two. I'm going to send a 4-4 four, four at Jason and a 7-6 at Sharice in the air. All my instants and sorceries have flashback. This turn, and I get 20 mana for on my second main phase. I will play my Felwar Stone. I'll go down to 18. 
I will play Lathless Dragon Queen for six. Ooh. No cards in hand at this point. Oh, but that's I'll a trigger. Good one. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll trigger Terror <laughs> of the Peaks for five damage at I think Sharice with that. I think I'm actually probably dead to that Brontodon. I just realized. So I'll deal five damage to you and you'll face Sharice. I will then cast a Goblin Lore for two. So that'll go me down to ten mana. I draw four cards and then discard three cards. Holy crap. There's only one non-land card and three land cards. So this one wow. will matter quite a bit here. Anybody want to do the honors? I can do it. In the okay. middle to the right. Okay, here we go. Ooh. That's the, the one you keep? keep. We have to redo it. We weren't on the same page, you know. <laughs> uh, dang it. Well, well, yeah, because I'm not going to show you the one I keep, right? So, oh, no, you're not going to show it. Well, I did the other time, but so yeah. yeah, choose two more. The one to the right and one to the left. The middle you keep. Okay, this is discarded, and oh, oh geez. <laughs> yes, the three lads discarded. <laughs> well, I can do something. I'll play Dracuseth, Ma of Yeah, oh you can do goodness. something. So that'll trigger Lathless and Terror of the Peaks. I'll get a 5-5 five, five dragon. So I just have to decide if I kill somebody. Charisse, are those things going my way if I don't kill you? or you maybe... um, Wait, so so that's how much damage? It, it's 12, right? She's at 13. Oh, you're I'm right. At 13. Yeah. I was survived by one. I mean, you've well, got a lot of blockers now, which is a problem. I wonder, I've, I've actually wondered on this. The triggers go on the stack, right? of the dragons if i pump their power up before it, the triggers resolve will they deal more damage oh uh, yes they will i think you're so, correct right? yeah i can pump all dragons once so they'll be up to eight and six so then i can actually do it, do it twice because of my fell war stone well that's i a- mean if you don't kill me i don't have to swing at you <laughs> that's a, right if that's he's either life or or not i choose life <laughs> i guess i just gotta make a call here but I don't... Right now, Sharice is just so much scarier than Jason. If you have to kill me, you can kill me. I, <sighs> I understand. Yeah, Sharice, I think I shoot you. Well, but that means I You're can't good. get rid of Piru then. Yeah, I still think I have to do that, though. So, all right. So I'll pump all my dragons once uh, with that their triggers on the stack. So all dragons get plus one, plus zero to end turn. And then I'll do you... Eight damage and six damage. Yeah. I'm sorry. I feel bad. But <laughs> okay. I take Next it as a badge bad. of honor, though, that you're the scariest, you know? And I'll show you my hideaway. Ooh. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And that has two. Yeah. Well, that's amazing with Wolfgard. Two triggers. That's, yeah, wow. that's. Oh, 40, wow. Wow. 40 eggs. Oh. That's awesome. So, yeah, I don't blame you. I think I passed the turn. On my upkeep, I'm actually going to Grasslands here, and then <laughs> this, drop This was fun. <laughs> yeah. Let's just go for him again, Kyler. Green, green. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, on cast, I will Scry. That can go to the bottom. And then, on entering the battlefield, he gets two plus one plus one counters. And I draw a card. This is my turn. I think I have to let Piro die. Sacrifice it to herself and deal seven damage to anything on the on the board. Yeah, not there. I was hoping you didn't catch that. You know. Uh, I think that is the smartest thing to do. Okay, yep. I lose these three dragons. Twenty-eight life. Yep. Yeah. You have to keep me alive for a little bit, Jason, so I can uh, bring him down. You know. Um, deal. I'm gonna play for seven. Two reds, two black. I'm gonna play Bilf. Oh. Late wing to risk and get. And get back Piro. Jeez. And that's going to be my turn. No cards in hand. Draw for turn. Oh, I, a... I actually did not gain the life off of the oh, I great hand. I'm going to send both of these at Morton and Naheb at you, Jason. If you Three if you block, four if you don't. But before, before blocks, though, I do have a Dracoseth Triggers. When it attacks, yep. it deals four damage to any target and then three damage to up to two other targets. I will deal four damage to Bladewing and then three damage to each of your faces. Like, yeah, you know. I'm going to actually just take the four. Okay, so seven total at Jason. And then are you blocking with Piru on either of these? I'm going to say no blocks. 
Okay, so I'll pump two times. So it'll be an extra four damage. And then I'll try to move to post combat main phase. If so, yep. I get some mana. <laughs> yeah. I get 13 from their power and toughness, plus another four from pumping, and then six more. So 23 mana. We'll use Bonder's Enclave uh, with three of it. So I go down to 20, to draw a card. I will also pay a life and three, so 17 to draw a card. I will then pay three and cast Dragon's Approach. And I do have four other Dragon's Approach in my graveyard. You killed Jason? Yep. Oh, shoot. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, Jason. Did not mean to do that. <laughs> I was about uh, to say, like, okay. oh, then you kill him. <laughs> yeah, shoot. Okay, so I'm going to go put any dragon into play. I think, yeah, I think I do this. I'll get Leyline Tyrant. Oh, So crap. it's a 4-4 four four flying dragon. I don't lose red mana as steps and phases end. And when he dies, I can pay any amount of red and deal that much damage to any target. Okay, that'll trigger Lathless, and I'll get a 5-5 five, five dragon. I believe that will be the end of my turn. 17 mana in my mana pool, but it stays for now. I think I have to let it go just because of the mana. The mana and then sure. if I, what, I, what I can stop take from, I yeah. like stuff like that. Let it go. So I will shoot you for 17. So you'll gain yes, 14 and then take 17. Can I even survive if I play my commander? The Dracoseth can kill it pretty easy, probably. Exactly, right? So I actually think, and how much damage you have on board? Um, even if you pump, when you pump it. With my, if So this Dracoseth could do four to your face plus seven. Yeah. You can't yeah, do so the, the other three would basically be worthless. Yeah. So 11, um, 15, 21, yeah, that's, plus that's game. one, two, three, four, five, plus 10. So 31 yeah. damage. Yeah, that would be game because but I have you, this. Uh, uh, I don't have anything. If you block it, is only or if you play oh, that you creature, can, you, then you can I shoot pump, it. You know. yeah, 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 yeah. You shoot it. You, yeah, you, you shoot you it with Dracoseth. You still so take uh, twenty-seven damage. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. there's nothing I can do. So game, GG. Oh play. dang! I'll be honest. There's something cathartic about playing a mono red dragon deck in EDH, and Dragon's Approach with Neheb just makes it. We all decided to switch commanders for game two, and Sharice changed to Lathro Blade of Elves, and her starting hand includes a Forest, Castle Lockthwain, Myriad Landscape, Heroic Intervention, Door of Destinies, Tyvar Kell, and Vanquisher's Banner. Jason switched to Will Help the Rock Cleaver, and his starting hand includes three Swamps, Sunken Hollow, Diagraph Colossus, Stitched Assistant, and Wonder. I switched to Selenia Dark Angel, and my starting hand includes a Swamp, Secluded Step, Path to Exile, Sign in Blood, Star Compass, Snuff Out, and Ad Nauseam. Morton switched to Omnath, Locus of Rage, and his starting hand includes two mountains, a forest, Prismatic Vista, Rootbound Crag, Exploration, and Nature's Lore. All right, here's game two. And let's play a Myriad Landscape tap, and I will pass. Okay, draw, and swamp, and pass. All right, draw for turn. Play a tapped secluded step and pass the turn. Play a forest and tap it for exploration. I will play Rupa Crack. It can't un up tap because I can. And then I will say turn. Start real nice. Oh, we're not. Low. Right, and I just passed my turn. Draw for turn. Swamp with nothing else to do. Pass. Draw for turn. I'll play a swamp. I guess I like star compasses in my deck, so I'll yeah. play uh, star compass. Uh, but I'll pass. Tap. Four. Tap for two and play nature's law. I will search for a forest card. It's gonna be stomping ground. Is it okay a shortcut and just put in two lands also and then stomping ground? Is that okay too? Yeah, yeah, sure. And then say turn. Actually, instead of stomping ground, I forgot I have this one. I will play a tiger. I will play a forest. <laughs> Tap two and sack the myriad to get another two lands. I'll get some more forests and I'll pass. Draw for turn. I'll play my first island swamp. I have two basic lands, so it's untapped. We're going to cast Diagraph Colossus. Was that with nothing in the grave. So he enters the battlefield with a plus one plus one counter for each zombie in my graveyard. Whenever I cast a zombie spell, create a tapped 2-2 two -two black zombie creature token. Pass the turn. Untap. Draw for turn. Cast a Sign in Blood on myself. So I'll lose two and draw two. 
I will play this Orzob Basilica, bounce this uh, swamp to my hand. I will swords to plowshares your zombie there, Jason. Okay. You'll gain sure. two life, and then I'm at seven cards, and I'll pass the turn. Done. Sure. I play Primary Vista. I'm gonna play something called Ancient Green Warden. Then I'm gonna play uh, Primary Vista second land this turn. Tap it, crack it, if that's okay. And mm -hmm. then I'm gonna find more land, and then I'm gonna say turn after that. So we'll play a Nykthos Shrine to Nyx, and we'll have four and play a Door of Destinies. Naming slivers, right? Yes, definitely <laughs> slivers. Uh, no, I shall name elves. <laughs> it's a surprise deck. It's actually slivers. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> That's a great idea. I need to make turn. a surprise deck. So we'll do wonder and pass. Okay, and oh, I love I love wonder. I'll draw. Play swamp. He for may turn. be in here. Yeah, yeah I'll pass the turn. So I will play two times Primatic Vista if that's okay by people. Sure. Yep. Two mana. I would like to play Steely Resolve. I would like to say Elementals. So I will play Snuff Out for four life and destroy your Green Warden. See, blue, blue, gone. Yeah, okay, if I, I'm gonna try. Home left. And then we're gonna say turn. Tap four for the commander. Then put a on Door of Destiny. <laughs> um, I will pass after that. I know what Omnath does. Orton, I'm gonna hit you for two flying. I understand that completely. <laughs> <laughs> I take two. <laughs> and we're gonna cast Ditched Assistant. It's happening this way. So it has exploit. So when it enters the battlefield, I'm gonna exploit Wonder. When it exploits a creature, scry one, then draw a card. And then pass. In the turn, I'm going to attempt an ad nauseum. So three for a gift of promise. Five, oh, no. Orzov signets. Five, eleven with Erebos, God of the Dead. Fourteen with Grim Tutor. Skeletal Scrying will be fifteen. Twenty is near-death experience. And Do it. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, do it. All or nothing, Carlos. Yeah. Uh, so 21, face shield. 21, 22, Esper Sentinel. 24, Soul Echo. Yeah, I think we stop there. Because I've flipped, I've killed myself with that nausea in this deck. If I, if I flip <laughs> over Pier, I die right away. So, all right. <laughs> so, seven life. I'll draw for turn. Yes, we play the swamp. All right, I'm going to cast Gideon of the Trials. The relevant thing for this deck is the third one. It says, you get an emblem with as long as you control a Gideon Planeswalker, you can't lose the game and your opponents can't win the game. And he has three loyalty. I'll play a Orzov Signet. And then I'll tap for some Sickening Dreams. So as an additional cost to Sickening Dreams, discard X cards from your hand. Sickening Dreams does X damage to each creature and each player. It'll deal to each player? Uh-huh. When Almnath dies, it can deal three damage to any target. And I can choose Gideon. Oh, yeah, I didn't catch that. Well, I, I already did it. It's too late. Yeah. Um, but you haven't chosen how many cards you've discarded. You haven't discarded them yet. I think I've... I either go back and don't cast Sickening Dreams, or I just kill everything i think i messed if you do up it, if you do it for five you'll still get omna and he'll get gideon but you'll be at two i would just well, discard five cards instead or he just shoots me and gideon lives and then you still have gideon yeah, yeah. probably better i play. guess that's the best play yeah all right so five cards it'll be two swamps three swamps a tainted sigil and a grim tutor so yeah we'll just do five sickening dreams as you said actually i think i'll do six and then i'll be at one but then omna dies and he shoots get in then i go to my end step and we all take six yeah yeah everyone takes yeah, six. Take six right and gideon dies right yes because I oh you're put because you're shooting it yeah yeah yeah. and then i'll go to my district card phase i'll discard generous gift emergence zone and 
Esper Sentinel. And I'll pass the turn. I on tap. Draw for turn. I think I'm gonna do this. One red. Green, green, green here. So one red. And then four. And I'm gonna play Perforus. God of Forge. <laughs> Field of the Dead. Oh, well, I, yeah. I have seven lands, different lands. Zombie. Nice. Perforus trigger. Sorry. No, it's good. <laughs> I know I'm the play a Wirewood Herald. I was just gonna boop this up to two. Let's just tap three for a life crafter's bestiary. I'll say go. Okay, draw for turn. This swamp. And then we will cast Liliana, Death's Majesty. We're gonna plus one her to make a 2 2 black zombie creature. Mill two. And pass the turn. Gonna untap here. Let's see what we draw. Nine? Home enough? Ooh, there he is. If he hits the battlefield, each player take two damage. Okay, and then I will play a land for turn. Now my cradle. And I will get a 5-5 five, five elemental. And each two. two more. And then it will be turned from that. Okay, untap, upkeep. I will oh, wait, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, I, I played a land, so I also got a so SMP. Yeah, sorry. Right, I will scry. I'll take this card and I'll draw it. Okay, so there's land. Better get out my commander at least. That bumps it up to a three. That's my turn. Draw. Swamp. Plus one. So we're going to cast Midnight Reaper. And Diagraph Captain. There you go. And pass the turn. Um, come on, tap this... Liliana makes me mill too. For five, I would like to play Return of the Wild Speaker. Yeah, so I'm gonna get a 5 5 elemental and a 2 2 zombie. You're gonna take four damage. Three green, and then I will use my elementals here. So it's like three green, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can't remember how much it is, but I think it's. We're gonna yeah. just put it on eight just to make sure. Avenger is seven. Yeah, okay, then yeah. it's, uh, yeah. and then I'm yeah. gonna find Avenger of Sentica. And that will kill us. We are very, very dead. Yeah, so it's just like, dead. boom. <laughs> Thanks for game. This game illustrates why Ad Nauseum was not super popular until CDH came around, because you need to have a pretty low casting cost deck. If not, you need some way to not die when you're drawing so many cards. And Selenia is all about losing life, but a little bit more on your terms, and I wasn't able to get the payoff. I want to thank Sharice and Morton one more time for being on our show today. It was a blast. We had some really fun games, and I want to thank them again for their support. If you'd like to be in an episode like this, consider joining the kingdom. Check it out at patreon.com slash kingdomstv. A special thanks to our samurai patrons, Morton Christensen and Revolution Gaming. You are part of the foundation of kingdoms, and we couldn't do this without you. Thanks again to all of you for watching, and remember, keep it nerdy.